Hey guys, so we need to talk and I'm not sure how I want to go about telling you and like it's, it's been hard making this, is this decision that I'm about to share with you and that decision is that I am going to stop freelancing. And what really bothers me about this decision is that I don't want to feel like a failure. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm giving up on this really cool, like, career path that I created for myself. And I don't want you to think that I'm not happy doing it or that I'm struggling with it because that's totally not the case. It's just I'm realizing that I need to think bigger and I need to think more about opportunities in the future. Like just keeping my vision in mind. And only doing freelancing the entire time is not going to get me there. Now, don't get me wrong. I am still going to post videos and share information about my experience freelancing and to help you all uh, with your freelancing journey because I think everyone should at least try it. Like, I learned so much about myself. I learned about how I work. I learned about developing my own process, which is really nice, like doing your own thing and switching it up to however you like. And I learned about having clients and how to interact with clients and the psychology that goes into working with clients. And I learned a lot about money and like handling payments. And I'm like, gosh, guys, I, I hope you don't think poorly of me or like I hope you're not disappointed in me but I want to talk to you and just be transparent so the number one reason why I decided to stop freelancing is because I miss the collaborative team environment and if you saw my interview with Eric uh, there's an interview where we talk about freelancing you should totally check it out if you haven't but I brought Eric on to do a project with me for a client and it's been so helpful and refreshing and I got like more ideas and it was really awesome. And so I really miss that. Like that's the thing that kind of sucks about working by yourself. And then the other part of it, gosh, the other part is the whole like consistent income, which is nice <laughs> when you are not freelancing. So when you're freelancing, you have your good months, you have your bad months. And the hardest part is still finding clients when you already have clients. And you want to get good reviews like from your clients. So you want to focus on your clients, right? Like. No brainer, but it does make it harder when you're doing it yourself. And I just want to invest more in myself and in my future, like business that's going to happen, like, and you know, like snowball in the future. And so I want to buy more like studio equipment. I want to buy more lighting. I want to buy more cameras. I want to buy like really like good equipment to continue doing videos and to make my videos better quality. And then I also want to invest in myself. So I want to, I want to be able to hire like a killer coach who's going to help me and give me business advice and help me with my content and my brand. And so like, it's hard to do that if I have bad months, obviously I'm going to have good months, but you have to prepare financially for the bad months, the slow months when you're looking for clients or 
you have an issue with the client who doesn't want to pay you, like that happens and you have to deal with it. And there's different ways to go about that, but you have to prepare for it, you have to save for it. And it's just difficult. And if I want to spend that extra money to better myself and like the content I have for you, it's just really difficult. And that's been my priority because I absolutely love it. And I had the opportunity to talk to some of you guys on the free coaching calls that I'm doing this month. And I absolutely love getting to know you guys and learning about you and your struggles and your goals. And it just helps me get an idea of the types of things I need to share with you to uh, provide more value and help you reach your goals as well. And so unfortunately the consistent money aspect is a part of that reason. And I know it's okay. I just, it's, it's okay. And I realize that it's okay. And I'm excited. I've started job hunting, which has been kind of interesting. <laughs> Because I'm putting out that book, uh, you guys know the web develop no coding boot camp to web developer, and so I'm looking back at my book, and I'm using the tips, and it's just neat that I'm actually using my own book, like, <laughs> and the interviews are super helpful. So, um, yeah, that's been a great help with planning. It's been guiding me, and so I started sending out applications on Thursday, Thursday night, I stayed up late, sent about 10 applications to some startups that I'm really into. And the next day, I already received a phone call for a job interview next week. And it's really freaking exciting. Like, wow, that happened really fast. So I will share my journey job hunting but I will still share freelancing as well to give you that background that I had for six months. And yeah, I just wanted to give you that update. I still feel kind of weird about it, but I've been going back and forth about this decision for a couple weeks and I'm finally to where it feels like the right decision for me and to help me grow more and it's going to be challenging and really that's what I want like how am I going to improve if you don't challenge like challenge yourself like that's for anybody like if you're not pushing yourself not getting uncomfortable like what's the point you're not going to grow and that's what we're all here to do is to grow so yeah I am no longer taking any freelancing clients I am finishing up with the clients I have right now and then 100% like looking for a startup environment and I'm so excited for this next step in my career and as always I'm going to share it with you and I'm excited too so I hope you have an awesome weekend it's Saturday so happy Saturday and to those of you who are in the southeast like florida georgia south carolina area i hope you guys are safe be careful out there and being in charlotte north carolina we are getting a ton of rain and so i cannot imagine what the others are experiencing so enjoy your weekend talk to you soon bye